Now this week's Film of Friday, I'm going to print a Thingiverse featured vise, actual working vise, all 3D printed, and it's perfect for holding circuit boards. So I'm adding it to my portable electronics workbench. I'll print it today on my CR10, a Creality CR10, which does a great job. And I'm even going to print another one using this atomic filament that I got at the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. I'll show you all this on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Here's the vice I found on Thingiverse. It's by user the Goofy. Here's the pieces laid out in Simplify 3D. And I'm, I don't have everything. I'm leaving out the gears and the threaded rods, and I'll explain why in a minute. So I clicked on Edit Process Settings, and these I'm going to slice at a 0.3 layer height, three top and bottom layers, 30% infill. Uh, Temperature-wise, I'm going to use 225 degrees for the filament, and I will enable cooling after the first level, and at 60 millimeters per second. So that's what I'm going to use, and I'll just click Prepare to Print. And then after it's done, it said it'll take 7 hours and 44 minutes and 54 meters of plastic. So I sent it off to my CR10, and here's the results. This came out beautiful. Now this is at a 0.3 layer height, but i got to tell you, the finish on these things looks as good as 0.2 on many of my other printers. That's how good this thing prints. These came out beautiful. So the next step was to print the gears and the threaded rod. Now on Thingiverse, he recommended you print at a 0.1 layer height. So I'll show you I used a 0.15, but the biggest thing is in the comments, I found people recommended that you upsize the gears in the X and Y direction, not the Z, X and Y to 104%. That way they're slightly bigger and then the threaded rods are fine. If you go in the Z direction, it'll be too thick. It'll rub against the insert. So only in X and Y direction. So I did the same thing, 30% fill, and I used a 0.15 layer, and that worked for me on this printer instead of the 0.1 he recommended. And then uh, no additions, no infill was 30%, no support. Temperature-wise, I used the same 225 degrees for the filament. Uh, I did enable cooling because this is PLA, so after the first layer, 100% cooling, and I ran at 60 millimeters per second and printed them out. And these came out really good. The threads look really smooth. The gears look good. The real test is when we try to screw them together. So that's the next thing. Let's assemble this thing. So here's the pieces all together and then here's the vise that I printed the first time. Now this was with a real cheap gray inland filament but it printed really nice. It's got a nice finish. Uh, most of this was again 0.3 layer height the only thing I did different on this was the gears, 104%. And the edges of this are smooth. The surface is smooth at a 0.3. This is really an incredible print. And it's, it moves really nicely. The gear spins really nicely with this uh, silver material. It's got a nice finish. So as it turns, it just closes the clamp. And then you got these slots in the end of it to hold the circuit board or whatever you're clamping and then a little lip on top. So... This is really a nice design, and this gray inland printed really nice. So now let's assemble this green stuff, and we'll see how well it fit together. And the first thing I wanted to test was the slot here. I actually had to sand that a little bit for the gray to make it slide, but as you can see here, it slid pretty nicely on the green. So I didn't have to do any sanding, and... I wanted to check both sides of that slot to make sure it was smooth enough, but I probably could have uh, did a little bit of sanding to smooth it out, but after I moved it a couple times, I could feel it freeing up, and it was just smooth and holding its own quite well. So that was good. Now the real test. How well do these gears fit on this threaded rod? They seem pretty smooth, and there's a little dot on this thing that he says to line those up so you know its position. And that's supposed to go on, on the inside, so facing down. But you can see here that the 104% worked nice. It fit over the gears snugly, but it spins really, really good. And I know with the gray one, I had to go up and down with the gears a couple times, even though I did that one 104%. But 
I printed those threads at a 0.3 where this is at the 0.15 so this is coming out a lot smoother so once I tested both of these guys it was ready to take it to the next step and assemble the base together I slid to one side into the base and snapped the gear into its slot and this is that's the slot that you uh, wouldn't be able to fit if you did 104 percent in the Z direction so once I had that in place I needed to install the center gear and that snapped in place but as I spun it I could feel some resistance like this green uh, filament actually had a slight rougher finish than the gray so this was a little bit tougher but I, I continued on I put the two halves together and they've got these guide pins at the end to, to guide it in and they're ribbed because of the, the layers so it's a little bit tight putting these together but once I got it together then it was just a matter of getting the gears lined up. It was slipping a little bit, and that's because the threaded rod wasn't going in the hole. And I realized I needed to put this end piece in here too. I learned this from the gray one. You want to put this in before you finish pushing everything together, because then it's if, if you don't do this, it's really tough to push this in. So I put that in place, and once that was snapped in, then I could finish squeezing this guy together. And it was tight. It was tight, so I had to lean on a little bit and then it snapped in and then the other end was uh, actually it turned out to be a little bit loose but once I did all that the gear started working better so now the next piece was the end cap that has the groove in it so that needed to snap over the end of the the moving vice piece and this was a snap fit so PLA doesn't want to flex that easy but once I got it in position it pushed down and snapped in place the final step were these pins he has to hold this thing together. Now frankly it held pretty tight in my opinion, but I forgot to put the pins in just to be safe. And he showed them just kind of pushing in. I had to tap mine with a hammer in order to make it fit. And I didn't put them all in, I just put one at the top and the bottom at both ends. And here's the finished unit and it's still a little stiff. When I compare it to this gray one, it's not nearly as smooth. So this green filament is a little bit rougher. Now the real test will hold a circuit board. So I needed to crank this out and then once I got it wide enough I put the circuit board in the top lip and then crank down and this thing held tight. It wasn't popping out easy at all. So this is working beautifully. It's nice and flush. So this is going to work really well for soldering circuit boards. There's no doubt in my mind. So my final summary, thumbs up. This is just a great design. So this turned out awesome it really did both of them they're both really really good this inland filament I guess I've played with it more but it definitely turns a little bit easier so this one's needs a little bit of work this one I'm gonna have to go back and forth a little bit more to free things up because it's a little bit tight but overall this this is a great addition to my portable electronics workbench I mean when you're soldering a board like this you want it firm and flat and you want it you know, you can still slide it around easily while you're holding the solder, maybe bump at your finger as you're trying to solder something. So being able to hold a board like this is very, very handy. And to have it all 3D printed, <laughs> that's just a great design. This is really an awesome design. So hats off to the, to the designer of this. I highly suggest you print it and try it out. And I'll tell you what, this Creality CR10 is just giving me such great results. Honestly, 0.3 layer height quality on this is about equal to 0.2 on just about every other machine in my shop here. It's just, it's amazed me how good it prints. And a lot of these parts are small, even though this is a big printer, and they're coming out beautifully. I mean, these gears and the, and the teeth, the, uh, the threads, fantastic. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of my other videos. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, hit that logo over there and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next week at the Barrier Maker Fair. If you're coming out there, stop by say hi. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.